Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you a really cool graphic design tutorial. It's very simple. Uh, I just haven't seen a lot of tutorials on this and the tutorials that are on this are for GIMP and not Photoshop. Uh, so yeah, so basically I've been listening to a lot of Drake lately, especially Thank Me Later. Um, one of my favorite songs on there is Show Me A Good Time. So I've seen this album artwork like a billion times and First of all, I really hate it because the text is just stretched and looks terrible. But the fact that's used on it isn't really used anywhere else that I've seen. The only thing similar to it is the RGB split effect, but that's with multiple colors. This is just red and like black and white. So I just thought I'd teach you guys how to do it and do it on a face that appears on another album art, which is Scorpion. So I'm gonna turn Scorpion into Thank Me Later, basically. So I'm gonna call this that Thank Me Later effect. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to threshold. There's multiple ways to do this, by the way. Uh, I'm just showing you the way that I'm doing it. And also it's probably better if you have a light background. So something like this automatically looks different than the thank me later cover because the background is white in thank me later and in this it's going to be black. But basically you want to adjust the threshold depending on how much detail you want to show. So something like this or like this, you know, I'm going to keep it like this to show like some of these lines and stuff like that. So I'm going to press um, control on the image and merge these two layers. So you can right click and merge them or you can press control E. And there you go. I don't know why this text layer is here. Let's just delete that. Um, now what you want to do is you want to select on the image layer, press select, press color range, and you want to press on this eyedropper tool right here and you want to select white because you don't want that as a background. And then it'll select all the white areas. And there you go. Uh, next thing you want to do is duplicate this layer. So press Control J. You want to press Hue and Saturation. And then you want to colorize it. So turn the saturation all the way up and make sure it's on the red hue. And you would want to turn up the lightness as well. So you don't want to increase it too high or it gets a, lot, a little bit faded. So something like this is probably the best. And then you want to merge these two layers. So press Control E. And you want to move the colored layer underneath the black layer. And now all you want to do is hold shift and press the right arrow key or left arrow key. And there you go. On Thank Me Later, the red appears on the left side. So we're just going to keep it like that. And basically that's it. And for the text, um, the Thank Me Later text is terrible. This is what it looks like they did. They press Control T and then they just moved it. Scorpion. That's it. That's all they did. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. I'm going to do it on another image that has a little bit more going on in the background because this was a pretty like, you know, plain background. Let's make a new one. So let's make a white background. So press alt backspace or control backspace, depending on the color. So, so control backspace is for the background color and the foreground color is alt backspace. So alt backspace right there. So I'm going to take an image of my friend Noah here. Uh, he's an actor and a model. So it kind of works for this. We're going to just make it bigger so that he fits like more of his faces in the thing. So you can see there's a lot of graffiti and stuff going in the background. So it might be a little bit different or harder to get that same effect. Um, you want to go to threshold. So something like this is actually pretty dope, just like this. Um, and then we want to merge these two. So press control E. Um, now you want to go to select color range, select the eyedropper tool, select white, delete it. Control J to duplicate, press U and saturation, colorize turn up the saturation all the way up and it doesn't have to be red. It could be blue or whatever. And then you want to merge these two, press control E, move it to the back and move it left or right. So I'm going to move it this way. And you can see on the side here, you can just erase it if it turns out like that. And actually an additional effect you can apply is Gaussian blur or motion blur. Um, so in the cover, you can see there is motion blur for the red layer. So you want to go to motion blur and just increase it a little and then add a little Gaussian blur, not too much. You want it lower on the scale right here. And then there you go. And yeah, that is the effect. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.